Hi, I'm Sean Murphy. I'm from West Bend Emergency Center in Boise, Idaho. And today I'll be presenting the Arthrex Ortho line. This is a plating system that's made specifically for small animals. This is an overview of the plates. It consists of essentially seven different size plates and both in a stainless steel as well as a titanium variety. You'll notice that the titanium variety starts at the 3.0 size. Some of the design features of the plating system include an increased screw density at the distal and proximal ends of the plate that allows for a more compact placement of screws in a smaller fracture unit. In this example here, you'll see that it's approximately 10 millimeters less in terms of overall plate span for the fourth screw hole to the tip of the plate. This allows for an increased screw density placement within the distal and proximal fragment ends. We've also in this plating system incorporated a central bridge this allows the fracture to be spanned in the case of a transverse or a short oblique fracture. With regards to longer plates, you'll notice that the screw spacing is actually increased and there's a lower density of screws over the central aspect of the plate span. This is essentially a hybrid type design between a general DCP plate as well as a bridging plate. This hybrid design allows for an increased stiffness and strength throughout the fracture span. At the ends of the plate, there's two different holes that accept cortical screws. One is a compression hole, and the other in the image below on the right is a slide hole. The slide hole is the first screw applied and allows very minor adjustments to be made in plate placement before it's secured to the bone. The compression hole is a standard compression hole as seen in the TPLO plate and allows for interfragmentary compression. To temporarily fix the plate to the bone, we've given three separate options. The first is a BB tack. The second is a cannulated bending plug where the K-wire is placed through the bending plug and affixed to the bone. And the third is a standard K-wire hole. There are some low contact designs to the bottom of the plate that allows for decreased cortical contact and overall preservation of periosteal blood flow. With regards to the universal plate hole in the titanium plate, we can have three different screw types, a standard locking screw or a standard cortical screw, as well as a variable angle locking screw. The variable angle locking screw is placed using a conical shaped drill guide. The drill is free handed at any angle within 12 degrees of variation throughout the bone. The screw is then placed and locked into the plate. With regards to the larger stainless steel plates, a 4.0 millimeter stainless steel screw was designed. This allows for increased bending moment and overall screw plate strength that's needed in the larger plate sizes, such as the 3.5 broad plate. The 3.5 regular plate can also accept this 4.0 millimeter screw. With regard to the T plates, there are two different screw trajectories that are incorporated. The first is a 7.5 degree bend away from the periarticular margin for periarticular application. The second is two degrees of divergence to help with screw pullout. This is an overview of all of the screw sizes, as well as the plates, both in titanium and stainless steel. Thanks for your time and good luck in your fracture endeavors.